Hello all and welcome to Thermodynamics. My name is Bahir and I'm going to be teaching you Thermodynamics and you all can learn with me and we can discover what exactly Thermodynamics is. Now I'm going to be teaching this from like a macroscopic approach um, and I also think this is going to be geared more toward mechanical engineers but I'm sure other types of engineers such as chemical engineers might have something to benefit from also. Um, I'm sort of going to be following this book in terms of like chapters and topics so that's thermodynamics and engineering approach so um, if you if you don't have that book I mean really not to worry I think I should be able to cover a lot of what goes on in that book but um, that's just what I wanted you guys to know so today we're just going to start off by talking about what exactly thermodynamics is so as you can see the word thermodynamics is composed of two parts you could say there's thermo which as we know means heat and then there's dynamics which as we know means like movement so thermodynamics is really studying the movement or like the flow or the transfer of heat um i mean that's really about it so we're going to start off by talking about certain laws of thermodynamics so there are different laws that we can talk about there's something called the first law There's something called the second law. There's something called the third law. And there's something called the zeroth law. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, why didn't I put the zeroth law first since that would um, sensibly come before the first, second, and third laws? We're gonna get into that later. But basically, these laws talk about different things. The first law, keep dropping my pen cap, the first law talks about energy. The second law talks about entropy. And these are given by different um, letters, I guess you could say. Now that's a capital U. And I'm doing this, these lines on top of the U on purpose. We'll still see as we go along. This S is entropy. Now, the zeroth law talks about temperature. And we can use that, we can denote that with a capital T. Now, the third law sort of talks about entropy, but it gives quantitative value to entropy. So, that's basically the third law. So, we're still going to go more into these, but that was just to give you guys a brief idea of what that's about. Now, we have different things in thermodynamics and what we tend to do is study things called systems so a system is just basically anything that we choose it's and we, we choose it arbitrarily and then anything outside of the system is considered its surroundings so so for example let's say I have a, a cup of coffee excuse my drawing but let's say I have a cup of coffee right the coffee cup is my system the coffee cup and everything inside of it is my system and everything outside of that coffee cup is considered my surroundings so the universe outside of the coffee cup is considered my surroundings now generally you might see us denote a system like this so I'm studying everything that's going on inside the coffee cup right so this is the system and this everything around it are the surroundings Now what separates the system from the surroundings is something called a boundary. I mean, this is sort of just like, um, just as we know in English, a boundary separates the system from its surroundings. So that's basically, that's basically that. Another example of a system, we could take, we're gonna get into it more, but there are things called nozzles. So if a nozzle is holding a liquid and it decides to speed up the liquid then that is the system, the nozzle and everything inside of it is the system and everything outside of it would be the surroundings, the rest of the universe would be the surroundings. Now there are things called closed systems and open systems. A closed system, it does not allow the transfer of mass, work or heat across its boundary. So 
none of that can get across. So it's sort of like a perfect system, we could say. Now there's something also called intuitively an open system. An open system allows the transfer of mass, work, and or heat across its boundaries. So, I mean, we're gonna still get into all of that. Now, this was just basically a, um, a sort of introduction to thermodynamics. So as we go along, we're gonna start talking about thermodynamic properties and what you can do with those properties to get other properties. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for more.